Last night we got the longest game winning buzzer beater in NBA history. So in honor of that, let's go through a short list of the farthest shots for the win. Honorable mention at number 6 is this absolute madness. Down by 1, Devin Harris tries to get it up there but is blocked and the ball just levitates freely for a moment, before the second attempt from 43 feet swishing it I guess just a fraction of a second prior to the buzzer. After a lengthy review by the refs, the shot was called good and this instantly went down as a classic in the NBA books. Things get even crazier with the fifth longest shot for the win. Down by 2 as the Hornets run a play out of the timeout, but with this deflection things seem to be over. However, Jeremy Lamb tries one last shot from 48 feet, a rainbow shot that banks in, shocking the entire city of Toronto. As we look at the replay, check out how high the ball went and how long it took to reach the basket. And it will always be funny to me how Kimball Walker gave up and thought for sure that this was a loss, but Lamb delivered big time. At number 4 we got another shocker. OJ Mayo hits an insane one-legged shot with one second to go and thought he secured the win. But Tyreek Evans made this video legendary with a double clutch heave for the win from 50 feet. Arco Arena goes wild, he jumps at the scorer's table as the Kings win the game. The most hilarious thing in this whole situation is this guy, who somehow knew this Hail Mary was going in as he's literally jumping with joy with the ball still in the air. This gets me every time, I believe this is Dante Green so shout out to him. This Sacramento team definitely did not have a lot of success but they were extremely fun to watch. For number 3 we go way back to 1986. Julius Irving is known among fans for his aerial acrobatics but apparently he could also shoot that thing from way downtown with the game on the line. Tie game and on the inbound nobody guards Dr. J on this give and go and he gets a clean look for the shot and swishes it from 53 feet according to basketball reference. On the replay you can see the interesting and unconventional form on this half court attempt but as long as it goes in none of that matters right? At number 2 we now know this guy as Steph Curry before Steph Curry, that is Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Tied at the end, the Clippers try to win the game but Dikembe Mutombo blocks the shot, Abdul Raouf gets the ball and lets it fly from 55 feet at the buzzer and buries it. As you look at the replay I have to say that you must watch highlights of Mahmoud Abdul Raouf or Chris Jackson before he changed his name as this guy was truly one of the deadliest shooters in the NBA and this game winner is just a tiny example of how great of a shooter he was. And finally at number 1, the drama from last night that went straight to the history books. Down by 3, OKC must shoot from downtown and the Pelicans know that and they try to take the foul here. But it's not called and Shea Gilgis Alexander ties the game. After the initial shock, Devontae Graham takes the ball and launches it from 61 feet and banks it in for the win. Unbelievable. As you can see this was from their own 3 point line. The absurd turn of events of attempting to foul, the refs let it go, the game tying 3 from way downtown swishes and the culmination from Devontae Graham to win the game and seal his name as the player with the longest game winner in NBA history. By the way, just a reminder before anyone mentions, the famous shot from Jerry West from the free throw line in the finals against the Knicks was for the tie. So that's why it's not on this list, as is the case with the legendary shot from Rashid Wallace. He as well sent the game into overtime. Hopefully you enjoyed this, more videos on the way so subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out.